everybody. It is so good to be back. Um, I just recently got back from a really cool trip where I went on a train for the first time. I decided to go visit my friend Natalia in San Diego, and I took a train down there, and it was a little terrifying. I had never traveled by myself on a train before, but... I got to go past one of my old, like, my old hometown, so I got to go through Oxnard and the beautiful, beautiful city of Moore Park. Look how beautiful she is. There's my middle school. Oh, what a beaut. So, like I said, I took the train, and it was pretty hard to keep myself entertained, but I was able to do it one way or another by watching mostly Bridesmaids. I mostly watched Bridesmaids, but eventually I pulled into the station and oh my god, San Diego is beautiful, like oh my god, what so beautiful. The food. The, what is the food? The food is amazing. Look at this ramen. Okay, what is that? And we had a bag of shrimp, a literal bag of shrimp, followed by the most amazing pancake. Not followed by the most amazing pancake, but a great pancake. Anyways, this was a, basically what I was doing the entire trip. So. The highlight of the trip was I actually got to go to the San Diego Zoo and visit there for the first time. I had never been to the San Diego Zoo, but I was so excited to go after I won tickets on the radio, which, as my friend pointed out, is the most Mel thing to ever happen. But we got to go, and I had so much fun seeing the giraffes. Look at how beautiful that giraffe is. What is that? Right there. Look at So majestic. So wonderful. Such good. What? Look at Oh, God, I died. It was so cool to get to see all of the animals and really just have the most amazing trip of the summer. And I decided to take this footage for you guys so you could kind of see the beauty of what goes on at the San Diego Zoo. Um, I actually learned a lot at the San Diego Zoo too, which they're really into animal conservation, which is super cool. So a lot of the reasons as to why they have these animals in captivity is because they can't survive on their own. If you are at all interested in learning more about the efforts that go on in the San Diego Zoo, I'm going to put some information down in the description about how you can donate and how you can get involved. Also, just go visit their website. Here's some screenshots from their website. They have a ton of information of what goes on there, more than I could ever tell you. So I really do encourage you to check it out and kind of see what they have going on on their website. I had a super, super fun time. I really enjoyed myself, and I really encourage any of you guys who are, live in the area or around a zoo to go visit the San Diego Zoo in particular. It's a really great zoo if you're looking to learn about some of the animals and their habitats. I got to hang out with this cool-ass panda who just, like, hanging out eating that bamboo like it's a Slim Jim. This is my friend Natalia. Isn't she adorable? What a cutie. Ugh. But after a wonderful long trip, it was time to go home, and... I had learned so much and had so much fun, but I'm really excited to be back now, and I guess I will just see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Bye!